That's September 14th and 15th. Thursday and Friday for everyone watching. My hey, friend, doing great, doing great. Good Thanks for to coming see by. You. Thanks for having us in. We Absolutely. really appreciate it. First thing we need to do today, more than anything else, is just kind of welcome the audience and say, we're here because there is a really cool technology days coming, isn't there? Absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, uh, yeah, we're here at our uh, Bay One Tech Center here at uh, J Tech Machinery, and uh, I'd like to give you guys a little bit of preview of what's up and coming here at our uh, technology days. Did you get enough coffee in this morning? I'm all good to go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I like knowing that the audience loves when we are. Uh, well, maybe maybe I'm working on the intelligence level. Maybe I'm mostly uh, animated, but the intelligence can come from you. Sure, uh, sure. And we want to invite everyone because you have so much technology. JTEC is is kind of, if I'm not mistaken. I wouldn't say rebranding, but get everyone familiar with JTEC because there's a lot of different machines as we look around under the umbrella of JTEC. And we're gonna go over all of that today to invite people here. Absolutely, and that's a big part of it. So our uh, product offering has really grown and the JTEC uh, family and offering, that's a huge piece of it. So a big part of our technology days is basically being able to talk about all those new technologies and equipment that's available to our customers. And what all are we gonna walk through right now? What all are we gonna see? We got turning, milling, Right, yeah. What do we have? Right, yeah, we're going to see robotics, we're going to see yeah, milling machines, we're going to see turning machines, new technology on horizontal machining centers, gear skiving machines, bridge machines with automatic head changers, so quite a bit here. It is quite a bit, and all of the we're going to show today is going to be available at Technology Days as well, right? Absolutely, And absolutely. what are the dates of that? That's September 14th and 15th. Thursday and Friday for everyone watching. So without any further ado, and I do say that a lot, but without any further ado, let's take a look at some of the technology sure. and get people excited. So this first machine here, what are we looking at? So basically, uh, in, and we're getting close here, but there's quite a few machines that aren't quite ready for prime time. So give us another three weeks and we'll be ready to go to show this one. But we're doing a lot more with uh, automation. And this particular one is just a simple two axis lathe machine from Taiwan Takasawa. And we're bringing it in with an automatic gantry loader. So basically with this solution, you get it all in one from the factory, you load up and you're ready to run. Load up and ready to run, gantry loader, two axis machine. That's quite a nice setup, really. Right, right. and we've been doing a lot with trying to bring in more and more of our products now in this type of uh, configuration where basically it's hard to find workers and because of that situation, anything that we can do to bring in machines to be you know, better suited for the operators that you do have, uh, you know, that's kind of the direction we're going in. That's the direction the industry's going in. Graham, as we talk, start talking about some of the other machines in here, I would like to touch on that a little bit more as we're walking and talking sure. because there is a conversation and it's it's buzzwords now. It's, it's almost even to the point where we're talking about it too much, but maybe we're not because we need more awareness in the, our industry as a whole. And that is that labor shortage. There are still some people out there because I know we're going to talk automation on the other side, sure, on these other sure. machines. Automation robots is taking jobs, but good gosh, no, it's not. I don't want to stump up and down like a, like a child, but it's really not, guys. For everyone who's watching, there really is a true labor shortage, and we are acclimating to what's currently available, and that's where automation comes into play, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's not taking away jobs. It's adding, uh, I would say, uh, jobs that have a higher throughput or, or higher level of functionality. So you can take that same operator that only, you know, in the past would be able to want, run uh, a single machine. And now we can run multiple machines because we're basically giving you those uh, capabilities and option sets inside the machine to have your best programmers, you know, be more efficient throughout the rest of the plants. So absolutely. And we're going to have a lot of videos for everyone who's watching on each of these topics individually. So tune into those JTEC videos for sure as well, where we're gonna dive into the automation of each of these pieces as well.